Everybody, welcome back to Falcon Plays Rimbro. Let me go ahead and pause the game here. We need a research project. All right, you to bolt. Apparently, this guy is overachieving all odds over here and just being a complete badass in terms of uh, researching for us. So, what do we need now? After that, let's go ahead and go with the let's go with the the pneumatic picks essentially and uh, get that going as well because that'll help us out with our future mining projects and whatnot. You to bolt over there getting a good meal in him. Good for you, you to bolt. I wonder what the berries go uh, turn into like when you're cooking them. That's really interesting. Alrighty, so here's what we're going to do. Um, as soon as this is, I'll, I'll wield in the uh, fruits of this labor over here, but it's not a really a big concern, obviously, because we'll have our we'll have our potato plants growing inside over here. Uh, not growing now, it needs to be brightly lit. Now, the cool thing about this is that now, since there's a no roof region, I could even probably forego using the sun lamp and uh, actually just removing uh, the roof over this area, and we can just grow it that way so that the sun lamp doesn't sap our power. However, um, the downside is, however, that uh, at nighttime they won't grow as prominently because it's obviously not lit. So I think that we could roll right now with only one for sure. And what do we have here? A local scroll's gone mad? Okay. Oh, I see him right there. Alrighty. So, Batman, this is probably the perfect time for you to actually start doing your business over here. So, And by doing your business, I don't necessarily mean, like, you know, defecating on things like that. Don't do not do that, Batman. Just, just fight the squirrel with your fist. And did you kill that squirrel already? No, you have not. Come on, Batman. Alrighty, good. So there you go, squirrel, uh, have this removed, and I guess we could probably start doing a little bit of a dump zone somewhere over here. I don't really want that rat hanging out in front of our, um, in front of our, I guess, base. I mean, what does that really tell strangers, right? You walk by, you see a dead rat in front of a, the entrance of a base, you're like, you know, I guess... <laughs> I don't really think you're gonna be, uh, I guess, intimidating people with that. It's kinda like, yeah, don't mess with us, we kill with squirrels, I mean, what does that really do? So let's do a little dumping stockpile over here, I'd imagine. And let's say, um, not corpses, let's just do, I guess, uh, well, do corpses, not debris right now. We'll make that a normal priority, not really a big priority, but a priority nonetheless. Let's go down and pause this now. And how are we doing here? Batman, are you still, uh, <laughs> my bad. Batman is still over here, militarized. He's kind of like, hey, man, let me, uh, let me move. All right, so now that that's done, I want to get this sun lamp built. As soon as I do that, then we're pretty much done over here. And I'll just go and have them harvest this manually, and then we'll just kill that area, and we'll continue onward, because um, obviously now that we have the hydroponic section, it's not really that necessarily. And all right, we got the the picks done, which is good. And Ida Bolt is actually proving to be a pretty good researcher right there. I guess he is growing pretty fast in terms of research. Uh, gun turret cooling, blast charges, fear tech. Let's go ahead and start doing the gun turret cooling, and then we'll do the advanced targeting. How about that? Again, Blast Charge is not really a necessity early on in the game. Not really something I'm too worried about, so we'll get that done eventually. Uh, no trading capacity. That is a big problem. That's something I really, uh, I've missed out on here. So, let me go ahead and actually set up a comms console. This is all powered up, correct? It totally is. So, let's set up a comm console. Uh, I guess it makes sense to just have it next to the research table. I mean, we're going to knock down this research table the moment we get that up and running anyway. So, there you go. Let's just do that. And speaking of which, I would totally like, um, I suppose more power going on here. I could probably add another solar, or is he, are these batteries doing enough? I hope they're doing enough, because we still haven't necessarily, uh, one colonist is idle. Why? Why is that? Mangina, what is your problem? Why don't you go grow over there, man? Go do your thing over there. Alrighty, let's, uh, Mangina, let's have you do a little bit of constructing meanwhile if you have nothing else to do. Alright, not, not you. There you go. Mangina, I know there's something for you to do now. So help us out doing something. Oh, you're going to help us out by eating our, our limited food. Okay. A traveler named Browning. Browning? Browning? Browning's back? Oh, man. I missed this guy from the first series. He was a total ass to me. Alrighty. Jump to location. Where are you at, Browning? Oh, you're actually not too far off. You're actually coming down to say hello. Um, oh, he's just joining. Oh, we don't even have to capture him. That's actually pretty good. Alrighty, guys. So, again... Uh, I have the population cap um, mod, so basically it ups our, our quote-unquote limited uh, colonists, so now I'll be able to add a bunch of you in. So, again, start leaving your comments in the last video, in this video, future videos, any any uh, any video whatsoever. Let me know, Falcon. You just have to do it once, though. But let me know, Falcon, uh, I want to get involved in the video. I check all the comments, I'll add you to the list, and I'll add you accordingly. Again, this is, doing, this is going by a first-come, first-served basis, so... Um, Again, if I don't get to you immediately, it's because there's other people ahead of you. There's no favoritism involved. Just whoever asked me first, I'll just add them to the list. I'll do it by time. I'll basically rearrange the comments by uh, newest first. I'll go to the oldest one, and I'll work myself up from there. So that's how that system works. Uh, Browning, 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 Browning. Let's see what Browning's good at here. Browning, what is your problem? Oh, my lord, Browning. You got a lot of uh, things to kind of grow on here. I like it. 
Construction four, growing three, no research, but that's fine. Mining. Shooting is a pretty good skill for him for sure. I should probably drop a weapon for somebody and give it a browning. Melee three, social three, cooking. He could do everything except research, which is fine because, you know, after a while, research kind of loses its purpose. Uh, crafting. Oh, he could be a crafter for us. That's good. That's really, really good, Brown. He's going to be our craft man then. So, um, how about we start off doing some crafting, guys? Let's get some of our stone supply up and running. We could have uh, Browning do this meanwhile. So, um, let's see. Browning, let me go and, uh, hook you up over here with some crafting. Um, I guess you could do cooking in the meantime. So, and construct. Let's forget about that and let's, uh, drop growing. Do mining for sure because we'll need some stone. First and foremost. And, um, plant cutting, avoid that. Crafting, hauling, and cleaning. Okay, that's good. So what I'm going to have Browning do for now is... Actually, no, no, no. Let's actually keep him constructing because I don't have the tool set up just for the crafting. So let's do this for now. So Browning, you go over here. Who is my least uh, valuable fighter is the real question here. And you have shooting three. And Mangina, you have shooting one. Okay, so obviously <laughs> Mangina over here is uh, the person going to be dropping that uh, Glock 9. And let me go ahead and... Uh, Make this capable to be grabbed, and Browning, if you may, please go ahead and equip that Glock 9, bro. You're good to go. And let me also give you a little sleeping spot. By the way, Browning, I am aware that we're sleeping on the floor. I don't want you to be a dick like you were last time, so just give us a while before we can set up everything properly and give you some proper rooms and whatnot. At least you get to kind of hang out next to under the sun and whatnot in case you want to sleep there. So the comms table's almost up and running. Uh, we are running pretty low on metal, as you can see, so it's probably my best interest is probably start thinking about mining into this little area here. Luckily, our little fortified area has a nice little metal supply, it seems, over here. So how about we just kind of take it down this way? And just so that we can get a little bit of, uh, I guess, evenness going on over here. Alrighty, so um, food is actually pretty drastically low. We're completely out of food, as a matter of fact. So hopefully these potato plants... Uh, I, I, they're about to be harvestable, so that's actually pretty good. And a roof has collapsed. Oh. Where was this? That's uh pretty terrifying. So um, before we do any more mining, you guys uh, stop what you're doing. Stop it right now. Oh, let's, <laughs> let's set up a little bit of a quote-unquote, I guess, support pillar over here, because that's actually pretty damn terrifying. So uh, let's set that up right there, and then... Um, Batman, if you may, go ahead and, uh, thank you. Thank you indeed. So that was kind of scary, but, uh, luckily they didn't crush anybody, so that's the upside there. Browning, go ahead, freed up now. What? 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 Uh, okay. Kind of terrified now. Oh, what's, <laughs> why are things just falling on us? Okay, okay, okay. This is actually pretty different. So are we... Are we essentially inside of a... I mean, we're inside of a mountain for sure, but... Huh. Okay, let me set up a... Huh, this is really quite terrifying. Okay, let me set up another support pillar... Right about here, I'd say. Another one here, and another one right about there. And let's see, Batman, let me have you switch your priorities momentarily to kind of, uh build those stone pillars. Stop mining, Batman! Stuff's falling on us! Why are they just falling around? I don't get that. Well, I just sealed up the, uh... Hmm, you know what it is? I think I kind of messed up here. I do believe how the roofing system works is if you're under, a uh... Basically, what the things were falling because of this gap over here. So even though our solar panels are getting the best of this, I should probably build my solar panels outside and then roof them in that way. Otherwise, we're going to continue doing this on us, and that's really terrifying. So everyone knows that you don't want to stay in this rock for long, but you have to name it something. So what's it going to be called? Well, how about, uh, why, why switch a good thing? So this is going to be, we had Gotham first, then we had Gotham's Revenge, and then this is Gotham uh, The Reckoning, just so we could ha keep that cheesy... Uh, I guess B rated straight to uh, television uh, or straight to DVD movie theatrics they're involved. So let's make sure hopefully nothing else kind of caves in on us right now. We're low on food, I'm aware of that. We shouldn't be because there is food ready to grow soon enough over there or at least ready to harvest soon enough over there. So hopefully, uh, my guys actually go and do that. Man, Giant, I need you to start harvesting that food, man. This is actually a really terrifying situation we got going on over here. Uh, let me also really quickly, if I can, is there anything else that I could harvest around here? Well, I mean, harvest that stuff that's ready, dude. 
No reason not to. What are you holding up on us for? Mangina's over here trying to, like, you know, I guess, uh, excommunicate the base by, you know, screwing us over here. Anything over here? Growing? Okay, so Mangina, let me go ahead and drop everything that you're doing right now and just do growing and plant cutting. And I guess hauling would probably be in our best interest. Clean down, keep it on, just because we're not necessarily doing any, uh, any of that. Alright, so Mangina, grant and just put the food in there and, uh, had it going. Mangina, I need you to actually, if you may, put stuff into cooking as well. I like how you're over here eating in front of Batman and Browning who are hard at work over here. It's kind of like, yeah, guys, I'm over here eating. <laughs> I wish you liked some. Oh, oh, oh no, okay. Hooey, all right, I'm really playing it close to the rim here. So, you know what, um, or close to the rim world, am I right? So let's actually uh, really halt this process here because this is actually quite terrifying. Let me put up another metal wall. I guess right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really have to kind of get rid of these guys and put them outside right now because they're actually really dangerous as to what the hell we're doing. Brown, let me go ahead and uh, militarize you and then unmilitarize you. And Raiders have landed nearby. Okay, and what do we have here? We have one dude. We have Susumu, the pirate. Oh, that'd be pretty cool to get a pirate. Pretty much get another good fighter in us. Uh, guys, there's uh, if there's food ready to be hauled, go and haul it off and put it into the hoppers, man. Oh, speaking of hoppers, I never did this. Uh, meat, vegetarian. So let's actually... Oh, you could actually put meat into the hoppers as well. That's interesting. Speaking of that, I guess I could probably go and, like, kill some muffalos just to put them in there. Raw flesh from a muffalo? Hey. Okay, um, where's the squirrel at? Okay, um, let's make this backside a, um, <laughs> I guess the, the, the meat area. And let's see. We'll make that important. Is everything, oh, everything's already important, so that's good. So let's make the backside the meat area. <laughs> That's what she said. And then over here, this will be the uh, non-meat area. How about that? That kind of works out for me. So, non-meat over here, non-meat over here. Non-meat there, and then non-meat here. Same with this one over here. Sorry for the monotony of this, guys. Unfortunately, it needs to be done. Oh my gosh, I'm going to starve. And, you know, what kind of, uh, kind of a start for uh, civilization is that? Alrighty, so now that I've done that... Batman, is there any way that I could uh, right-click on this, you know, squirrel over here and have him? No. So what we're going to do momentarily then is go ahead and delete this zone over here. And Batman, let's see, can you... There's something you could do about this, can it? Hmm. It says raw flesh. I guess I have to butcher it first. That would make sense. So that's kind of pointless for now. So I have to butcher it first, then the raw meat's going to be ready to go, and I could put that in the hopper. So that makes perfect sense then. Um, speaking of what's making perfect sense right now, it's probably in my best interest to, I guess, not continue mining down over there because it's actually getting really scary. Research screen. Okay, so for now, um, let's go ahead and take a break. Uta Bolt, I need you to start working and helping us out. So Uta Bolt is done with the research momentarily. Let's have him do hauling, um, plant cutting if you may. Mining, not really. Growing for sure. Uh, repairing, constructing, and cooking is a really imperative situation right now. And we have a, um, a... What's his name? We have a raider out there, but not really a big concern to us just now. All right, so there you go. Plants were cutted, or not cut? <laughs> Plants were cutted. Ah, oh, where did I learn how to speak? It's a real question. All right, there you go. And now they're hauling stuff into the hoppers. Good, really, really good. So that'll give us a little bit of momentary food and keep us alive. Meanwhile, and then more importantly, this over here is going pretty good. Uh, let's see. Uh, are we getting the full light support over here? Not growing now. It needs to be brightly lit. And same with this guy here, huh? Okay, so I'm going to probably, not really in my best interest to do so, but let me go ahead and add two lights. And we'll have one light. Let's see my furniture. Let's do a sun lamp. Let's see. This will probably cover, I want to say, most of this area here, right? So let's make it, like, four. Would that work? Yeah, I would say four would work. So let's make it four, and then we'll make the other one over here. And what I'll do is I'll just deconstruct this one over here. Alrighty, and that'll get done soon enough right now. Deconstruct it, and then construct them back up, guys. Raiders are coming at us, but that's no really big concern right now. There you go. So now that it's completely brightly lit now, those things will get going. Mangina is about to run into Susumu the pirate here, who has a Glock 19. Man, what is this guy, Easy e or like, you know, from uh, NWA or something? Alright, so Mangina, let me go ahead and, uh, if you may... Or actually, Batman, let me militarize you, and let me just have you come at this guy full force. Mangina, let me have you move away into some debris just to kind of draw this man out. And go ahead and melee attack him, all three of you guys, or all two of you guys, anyway. 
Oh, nice shooting, Susumu. Well, who are you hitting, man? Who are you trying to hit? What are you, fighting the, uh, the silver ore or the metal, man? Come on. All right, we knocked him out. Excellent. All righty, so there we go. Two people that I'm going to have to rename after this episode for sure. And let me go ahead and get Mangina and to actually capture Susumu the pirate. And then Batman, you are free of duties. Actually, wait one second, Mangina, if you may. Go and equip the Glock 19 first and foremost. Batman, you go and capture Susumu. And Mangina, let me free you up to go kind of do some work for us there. And now here's the situation. We need a warden. Batman is going to be our warden, obviously, and we'll have him do some doctoring. So Batman is pretty much the uh, man of all traits right now. Let's see. Growing. We have two people growing. I don't think I really need two people now, right? Probably not. So let's go ahead and knock this off of uh, the bolt. Actually, no, no. Let's keep the bolt because our better miner is Mangina. So let's do this. And, well, let's just have him do growing, both of them, for now. And let's see. I want to get rid of this area now. We have our situation going on over here. So how about for zones, we go ahead and... Not really zones, but let me, I guess, harvest this? Oh, it's not ready to harvest just yet. I mean, I might as well get the uh, fruits of, lim of my labor over here before I do that. So let's see. Batman's going to put that man away. Good. Speaking of which, I should probably give these guys a little light just so that they feel a little bit more inclined to join. And I guess I could probably start thinking about building some cheap bets, just in the interest of having them join a bit faster. So, honestly, let me go ahead and deconstruct this, and let me go ahead and set up a cheap bed right about here. <laughs> Royal bed? Yeah, you wish, buddy. Even my guys don't have regular beds. <laughs> my guys are still sleeping on the floor, so don't tell me about, hey, can I get a royal bed in here for this prison? This isn't a, this is some sort of, like, you know, blue-collar prison, bro. You didn't get in here because of tax evasion or because of, like, you know, some sort of blue-collar crime. You're in there because, um, you're a filthy scum. That's what you are. Alrighty, so our, our power is building up. Yeah, okay, not that amazing. But, um, I could add another solar panel. What I want to do is build the solar panels outside, honestly, because of what happened right there, that whole cave in incest, and that was actually quite terrifying. Although I could avoid it, obviously, if I just mine, like, you know, in one line. The reason that was happening is because I was mining wide areas. Obviously, I should know this by now. It's not my first time playing the damn game. So, um, let's go ahead and do one, two over here and just kind of build inside. And obviously, this is going to be a lot of stuff for us to kind of play with, for sure. It's almost reminiscent of my old base, quite honestly. So, right now, we're getting the, uh... Oh, we're getting quite a bit of good food from that, uh, hall right there. So, that's actually going to work out pretty good. So, now that we actually have, a, we could do a research project. We need a grave for that rat of <laughs> squirrel over there. Rat, squirrel, same thing. Need defenses, yeah. Again, buddy, I don't need defense. It doesn't tell me what to do. Um, so, I guess the other thing we can start thinking about doing is probably soon enough. Let me mine in here, and what I'll start doing, I'll start setting up rooms inside as we mine. That's how we're going to roll with it. Roll with it this way. And overview, we're good here. Um, I guess I could probably start getting my other research projects up and running. Our console is up and running, but we haven't gotten into any trades just yet. Let's see here. Can I harvest this stuff now? I can. So let me go ahead and harvest that. And then what I'll do is, um, I'm going to zones, and let me go ahead and delete this zone now, afterward. We're done with that. So just whatever's there, go and harvest it, and then uh, we'll be done. Let's see, plant cutting, yeah, we have a few people plant cutting for sure. Batman's getting some rest over there. Eat a bolt, yeah, go ahead and cut that. Yeah, just go ahead and cut that all, all that stuff out, guys, and then we'll pretty much uh, just uh, have whatever we have, we'll just put into the hoppers. But our main concern is obviously our hydroponics section, which is actually pretty good now. So research project. I could probably start thinking about putting either bolt back in there. But uh, let's actually finish up that little field first and foremost, and then we'll start doing that. So now we've also finished with the mining, so let's see here. How do I want to approach this? this is the real question here. I'd imagine we could probably do a situation where we go downward, like so. And then, let's see here. We'll do a little bit of a crevice. So we'll make room number... Well, I don't want to make the rooms too close because there's a lot of metal to actually mine over here. So, for now, let's actually just have them go downwards to here. And then, we'll do, uh, let's say... I mean, there's a lot of room to actually mine over here, so... I guess we could do... Rooms down here? Would that kind of make sense? Like, I imagine it would. So let's say we'll make this uh, another hallway. So we'll make that a hallway and we'll make this another hallway. 
And what I'm doing here is that these bottom portion over here that I'm kind of leaving alone, that'll basically be the uh, area for the room. So I'm sure let me cancel a bit of this. I don't need to mine all the way out through there. I just want to give myself a little bit of a kind of uh, guide point as to how we're going to do this. So uh, let's see. Then we'll do this like so. And then this right here, I guess, will be room number one. If that makes any sense. Uh, it really doesn't. Yeah, no, that doesn't really make that much sense. So how about cancel this out right now, and we'll have mining, uh, let's see, room one will be, we just need one square, obviously. So we'll make this room one in here. So let's make it a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way, all the way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So a good middle point would be right there, right? So this right here will be the entrance, and then we'll make this like, make this like so. We're gonna give some spacious rooms this time around. How about that? I've I've never really done this before, but might as well. Although it's probably better if I do it like this, and one more, right? Yeah. So that's a pretty spacious room right there. So we're gonna do four, and then the hallway, right? So, oh, the fourth one should be the hallway. So one, two, three. And four, and then we'll set this up. What is this? Uh, seven, right? So, it's gonna go down through there. Boom. Room number two. And let's see how, how much do we have a gap of two. Okay, that's good. One, two, and then we'll do the same thing over here. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bring this down, and then this will be my little archway right there. Alright, so yeah, we're gonna give these guys spacious rooms this time around, just to, uh, I'm gonna be the, the nice guy, see if I could keep these guys extra happy this time around. Four, five, six, seven. Make this go downward like this, and then this will be my little hallway entrance right there. Okay, so we have four people right now, and obviously we'll build more accordingly, so. But for now, this will be the, I guess, the main stasis of our base down here. One colon is idle. Mangina, why are you idle right now? Mangina is idle because firefighting is on, doctoring, warning, cooking. Constructing. So let me give me a hand with the mining now that you're done with the growing, I imagine. And let's see here. Repairing constructing is also an important thing for him to do. Alright. So that'll work out for there. Angina, where where are you going, sir? Go and get some work done, man. Two colonists are idle. That's really impressive. <laughs> are you guys idle? What is this? Uh idle bolt? Why are you idle? Oh, because you don't do any mining. Well, we need mining right now, man. All hands are on deck on the mining. Alrighty, and there's some food going on. Alright, and then the other thing now that we actually have a little bit of inside base and uh, kind of like a little groundwork, the other thing that I want to do is actually start working with setting up the... Well, I guess we could start doing some cooking, right? That'd be pretty cool. But for now, let's actually just set up the stone cutter's table. A work table equipped to cut rough stone into usable blocks, so that's really what I want to do as well. So let's set this up, I'd say, right about... How do we want to do this? Oh, let's just set it up down over here next to the, the prison cell, I guess. The stonecutter could kind of make fun of the prisoners. Kind of like, yeah, yeah, you wish you could join, huh? So let's set this up right about there. Alrighty. Food's going to be dropped into the hoppers. That's good. Alright, so Udabolt's going to go ahead and build that for us. That's excellent. And now let's check this out. Bill. So this is something that we haven't really messed around with just yet. I'm really interested in checking it out. But how about we call it an episode here today, guys? And now let's see. We're actually moving down over here. This will be the rooms that we have set up. We're going to actually expand this as much as possible. We'll give as many rooms as possible. Again, we have the population cap max. So believe me, we're going to be building a lot of rooms for sure. So that's something to keep in mind. But other than that, we'll probably start setting up a few little bit of light system down here. So then we'll start freaking out since they're so deep into the caves. And we'll start doing some wood cutting because, or not wood cutting, but stone cutting because I want to set up some stone walls so that we never have to worry about raiders burning down our walls ever again. I mean, they'll be able to frag them, but not burn them, so, you know, kind of one thing or another. Either way, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode, and if you did, I encourage you to click that thumbs up button. The support really does mean a lot. And other than that, I will catch you next time.